Black women in the U.S. are more likely to get diagnosed and die of cervical cancer. This disparity isn't due to genetic differences. Instead, experts say this is often due to the effects of systemic racism, access to health care, and other social economic factors. Dee Dee Stepen has more. Screening for cervical cancer often starts with a pap test or smear. Cervical cancer is diagnosed with tissue sampling, so like with a biopsy, but abnormal cells can be picked up with a screening exam like a pap smear, which can lead to being able to diagnose cervical cancer. Early stage cervical cancer may produce no distinct symptoms, making these regular screenings life-saving. It's really in later stage cervical cancer where you can see things like abnormal vaginal bleeding, pain in general or with intercourse. The biggest risk factor for developing cervical cancer, HPV infection, can be prevented with a vaccine. There is a vaccine out there that can be given as early as nine years old and up to 45 years old is very important to know, not only for women but actually for men. Access to health care and establishing trust is essential to help reduce the cervical cancer mortality rate for black women, says Dr. Cardenas Trowers. Her advice for all women? Establish care with a primary care provider, undergo the recommended screening, get the HPV vaccine for yourself if you're eligible and also for your children.